I tried a $1 carrot grow kit from Target so you don't have to. And this cute little package was a packet of seeds and the growing medium. So following the instructions, I transferred this pellet to a small dish and added two tablespoons of water. After the water absorbed, I fluffed up the medium and then transferred it to the biodegradable cup. According to this table, I should use three to five seeds, cover them lightly, and in two to four weeks, these should sprout. But y'all already know it's not gonna take that long. I ended up going with five seeds and day six is when I first noticed some growth. This is how they looked a couple days later, and on day 23, I moved them outside. You can plant the whole cup, but I decided to remove the seedlings to give them more space. And of course, I got curious about what's going on, and look at that, you can see a little carrot developing. Thanks for watching! Five easy vegetables to grow for a busy gardener. Zucchini. Zucchini you can just direct sow in the ground. It's so easy, you will have zucchini coming out of your ears. You'll have zucchini everywhere. Problems with squash bugs, but follow along, I'll teach you how to protect them from squash bugs. Lettuce. Plant a really easy cut and come again style lettuce. I like Johnny's All Star Mix. It has all the different varieties in it. You only need one lettuce. It's hard to grow in the heat, but really easy to grow in the spring. Peppers. Peppers have low pest problems and they don't really need a whole lot of water. They're very low maintenance. All kinds of peppers, sweet peppers, hot peppers. Plant the peppers. Make sure you pick a nice sunny spot. Peppers really like sun and lots of heat. Radishes. Radishes. You can plant seeds straight in the ground and yeah, pull out a radish in just 21 days. Super fast. Definitely give radishes a shot. Don't tell me you hate radishes until you try them roasted with butter and lots of sea salt. Last one was a hard pick, but I'm going with green beans. Green beans are really easy to grow. You, again, you just put the seed right in the ground. And as long as you keep up with picking them, there you'll get tons and tons of green beans. Bush green beans if you don't want to trellis and grow pole green beans if you don't have a whole lot of space. sweet potato that's gone bad in your pantry and it's starting to grow, you can grow more sweet potatoes with that sweet potato. If you have a sunny windowsill, take your sweet potato, pointy side down, and place it in a cup of water. After three to four weeks, you should start seeing growth at the bottom and your leafy greens up top. These pieces up top are what we call sweet potato slips. You can pop this off and root it in water just like this, and then when it has developed its own root system, you'll put it straight in the soil and it will grow tubers. If it's hot enough where you are and you want to be lazy, take any open area of soil that that you have and place the sweet potato halfway in the soil. This will create its own slips just like this and as you can see I don't need to root them I can rip them off just like this and this bed is five sweet potato slips. The greens are also edible if you eat them in moderation it will not hurt the growth of the tubers and they taste like spinach. Sweet potatoes take about 110 days to grow so just check your growing zones and when your first freezes. How to grow cucumbers. Start early indoors or direct sow in full sun in the spring or fall. Make sure you have a trellis system so they can climb up. If growing in a container, make sure you mulch to retain moisture. Pick early before they turn yellow and twist off so you get more. Do you want to see how Brussels sprouts grow? Come. This netting is to keep it the moth, so here I go opening it up. This is what the stem looks like. What I'm gonna do is just trim off the bottom leaves, like the lower leaves here, so that the plant can send more energy into growing Brussels sprouts. Break to look at a cool little worm in the garden. If you look where the leaf meets the stem, you can see the little baby Brussels sprouts growing. I'm going to show you a fully loaded stem that I'm going to pick and then I'm going to see what grows back. Here they are. This is my infinite onion glitch. So you see this onion I'm preparing for cooking. There's the three little dots. Those are the potential for three new onion bulbs. All we need is that little bit of root system. See? Just like I showed you in the previous video, click the comment up top where you saw the sprouted onion had two bulbs in it. Well, this one would have had three. I also cut up a red onion today so I can show you it's the same. You see that there? So in order to get your infinite onions, all you have to do is fill a little dish or vessel with water and stick the root system in there. It'll sprout new roots. The minute you see new roots, you can just go and plant that in the ground and get your new onions. Now I have a dish or a little ramekin of uh, leeks. I'm stumbling because I realize uh, this is not that pretty, but honestly, this is the reality of the way that I do it. I leave my leeks in a little bit of water. As soon as they grow new roots and you can see a new stems coming out, I go and plant them in the ground. Unlimited supply of lettuce. Cut the bottom of the lettuce off. Hi there. 
Place it in soil, making sure the cup end is outside of the soil. Water, water, water. One week later, look at the wee babies. Hi. Two weeks later, so easy to grow indoors. Five tips on how to grow zucchini in containers. Number one, invest in good soil. This is very important because without good soil, you won't have a good harvest. Number two, add mulch on the top of your soil to keep it from drying out because containers dry out quicker than plants in the ground. So some good examples of mulch is pine straw, wheat straw, grass clippings, or wood chips. Number three, watch out for squash bugs because they will kill your zucchini plant fast. Number four, Keep your zucchini on a consistent watering schedule because they like moist soil. And number five, use organic fertilizer every week or two after a month of planting your seeds. The reason I say add fertilizer after a month is because whatever soil you buy should already have food for your plants. Just make sure after a month you add fertilizer every week or two because zucchinis need to be fertilized for healthy growth. And after you do these things, you should be able to grow zucchini no problem. It only takes about 60 days before your first zucchini harvest.